Dr. Jeffrey Boyd. This video is about the Keeling Curve War and why we are losing it. The temperature on Earth is mostly defined by how many carbon dioxide equivalents there are up in the atmosphere, which is measured by the Keeling Curve, which is based on air samples taken on a mountain in Hawaii. In 1958, American geochemist David Keeling set about to measure how much carbon dioxide was in the Earth's atmosphere. He took air samples two miles above sea level on Mount Aloha in Hawaii, a site he chose because there was no air pollution. Keeling collected air samples in flasks and measured the CO2 levels with an infrared gas analyzer. Whatever the carbon dioxide level was in the winter, it dropped to a lower level in the summer because vegetation everywhere devoured the CO2. Then the CO2 rose again next winter, but every season, the level was slightly higher than the season before. Over a period of decades, it became clear that the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere was increasing at 3.3 billion tons per year. The Keeling Curve provides a way to measure the connection between rising global temperature and CO2 levels in the atmosphere. Here are three possible futures of the Keeling Curve. Future one is where we are heading today. Future three is what might happen if we limited carbon emissions to net zero by the year 2050. Future two is an intermediate course. Here are the corresponding temperatures. Future one, if we do nothing, two, intermediate, three, net zero by the year 2050. Scientists tell us that future three will be hot, two will be hotter, and one will be scorching. So if we're in a war, who is in charge and what is the war plan? The answers are simple. A, no one is in charge. B, we have a patchwork of plans. There's not even a consensus that we're in a war. Some people say the climate crisis is severe. Others say, no, no, the problem is too much government intervention and not enough individual freedom. So we don't have agreement about anything. There are two reasons that we have no war plan. The first is what I'm going to call the Bill Gates fantasy. The idea is the world is running out of oil and therefore as green technologies get cheaper, they will win in the marketplace. Well, in the first place, the world is not running out of oil because of fracking. The United States can and is supplying abundant oil to the world for many decades to come. In the second place, we do not have free markets. In the United States, the federal and state governments are owned by the fossil fuel industry, and therefore there are few wind turbines and solar panels being constructed unless you're in California. Tens of millions of teenagers have taken to the streets declaring that adults should do something about the climate crisis. <laughs> For way too long, the politicians and the people in power have gotten away with not doing anything to fight the climate crisis. But we will make sure that they will not get away with it any longer. And we are striking because we have done our homework and they have not. We're Amy and Della and we're spending some time in the Lake District, appreciating the environment and spending time in the outdoors. We've always had a love and appreciation for the planet and the environment, which is one of the big reasons that we were driven to help protect it from the massive issue of plastic pollution. And that's why we set up our charity, Kids Against Plastic. We've now been running our charity for over six years now, and we've got a few different initiatives that we run. Uh, we've got a Plastic Clever initiative to encourage a more discerning use of single-use plastic, which we run for all different sectors, but in particular schools at the moment. And we also have our Kids Against Plastic Club of over 180 amazing members around the world who we support in their own action against plastic pollution. Hi everyone, this is Yobi Morris. Today we are at Sveta Primary School. This school is having more than 1,000 students. We managed to work with them. We planted some trees. We brought over 245 tree seedlings. So in total, we did like three events, sensitization, tree planting, 
and how to strike. We are unstoppable and as our word is possible. We are unstoppable and as our word is possible. Dear brothers and sisters of Berlin, Kurumjari Namaste. My name is Lisipriya Kangaja. I'm 11 years old, Indian climate activist and the founder of the child movement. I'm also the special envoy for the president of Timor Leste. I'm coming here all the way from India by traveling thousands of kilometers to tell the rich country nations to pay for the loss and damage caused by the climate crisis to the global south. Today's global climate crisis is caused by the rich nations, and we are just the victims of it. Of it. Given that we adults have no one in charge of the crisis, no war plan, and we can't even agree that there is a problem, therefore I'm calling on all adults to sign a declaration to make yourself clear to your grandchildren. There are two parts to the declaration. Number one, I am pathetic. Number two, you should respect your elders. We elders are pathetic if we cannot develop a strategy for how to deal with the greatest threat that humans have ever faced. My next video will present a plan for how to win the Keeling Curve War. Thank you very much for your attention.